Early in the morning, Dr. Wiley drove out to Grady's junk stop, which was located on the hill behind the volcano lair. Much of the refuse was cast-offs from the organization's various failed schemes, and he was hoping to find salvageable equipment to use for his own purposes. The new workshop was small, but suitable for now. As soon as he had returned, Wiley wasted no time in designing the prototype for a robot that Gaz had requested. No! Gaz himself, meanwhile, was checking out the new research lab. It contained a number of fascinating devices relocated and repurposed from Fujiko's earlier military heist. Of course, not everything seemed terribly useful just yet. Eli still had unfinished business in Shang Sim La. Traveling to take part in the big martial arts tournament, he was determined to come out on top once and for all. <laughs> Meanwhile, Wadsworth, Fujiko, and Pearl had made their own trip to Sean Le Sims. Wadsworth was hoping to refine his skill at nectar making and learn the secrets to a good vintage. Pearl, on the other hand, was outside in the vineyard looking for souvenir grapes to take home for her own garden. And while those two were at the nectary, Fujiko visited the art museum. It was always worth checking for valuable pieces to swipe. As the sun was setting, Eli faced off against his final opponent. This match would decide it all. After unseating the previous champion, Eli would now be known as the Grand Master of the Phoenix Academy. He was now fully prepared for what was to come back home. Prototype in hand, Wiley determined that he would need better facilities to finish his work. He made a visit to the Island Science Lab to see about buying his way onto the board. With Serpentine Labs now diverting some of its resources towards his experiments, it was only a matter of time before his project was complete. 